and welcome to Talk It Out Tuesday. Glad to see you, Merrick Moore fifth graders. This week on Talk It Out Tuesday, we're going to um, talk about the deets on our peeps and the great work that you all have done. We're going to get into um, reading to find main idea and details in cause and effect again. And then uh, you're going to get an assignment in Google Classroom. And this week, you're going to use your writing pillar to start writing your own cause and effect paper. Here we go. This week we're celebrating the great work of Noah, Carla, who made a fantastic PowerPoint celebrating her fifth grade year and shared it in Google Classroom. If you haven't had a chance to see that, um, please check it out. Carla, it's just beautiful. Ariana, Rainey, Anthony, Cornelius, Anaya, Trinity, Daniel, and Amaya, you all have been consistent in doing your work and in getting on our Google Zoom classes. Um, and we're just so proud of you, good job. Guys, you remember this year we used the pillars to do our writing. Um, the important thing to remember about writing is that writers always have a big idea that they want to share with you, and then they offer you details that support that big idea. When they offer you a detail, they explain to you why it matters. And today we're going to read an article together about flooding, and we're going to look for the main ideas and then those details that support the main idea. And you're going to write about the positive and negative effects that COVID has had in your life. I've done part of it for you. You're going to fill in the details yourself and you're going to learn how to do that today. So let's start here. The many effects of flooding. As a reader, when I start reading an article, the title gives me a clue right away about what the main idea is going to be. Sometimes I go into reading with an assumption or a belief that I have based on my prior experience. When I look at this picture, I'm thinking that the writer only wants to tell me about the negative parts of flooding. I see houses underwater, trees, I'm thinking that people have lost their homes, damage has been done to cars and the community. That's my assumption as a reader. That's why reading these headings is so important. When I start reading the introduction here, the writer's going to tell me what their big idea really is. And it's important that I'm looking for standout words, phrases, sentences to guide my thinking. Rivers have been important to humans throughout history. They provide food, fresh water, and fertile land for crop growing crops. Water is needed for life, but it can be also be destructive. In many cases, the flooding rivers can have terrible effects. And the writer goes on to talk about flooding as a natural disaster, but here in the last paragraph, floods affect humans, but they also affect the environment. Their effects are not always bad, however. Some ecosystems even depend on flooding during certain seasons. Right there as a reader, my thinking changed because I came into this article thinking that the writer was only going to talk about the negative effects, but look. Here the writer told me that the effects of flooding are not always bad. So now I know I need to keep an eye out for what's negative about flooding or harmful and what's positive or helpful about flooding. So the next heading, floods can cause harm. Now the writer, just like in our pyramid, is going to give us the big idea. And here's the big idea, floods can cause harm. That's the main idea. What are the details the writer is going to give me and how are they going to explain those details? It's my job as a reader to find that. So here, detail number one, flooding can harm wildlife. And then the writer goes on to explain what they mean by that. Floodwaters can pick up dirt from riverbanks. There's detail number two. Detail number three, flood water can carry pollution too. Let's read to find out how the writer explains that one. These pollutants can cause pesticides, garbage, or sewage. Sometimes polluted flood water can run into the ocean. This can harm marine life. So there's three details that the writer gave with an explanation. The fourth detail. Floods can also lead to disease and outbreaks. Some deadly diseases live in water. These include hepatitis A and cholera. Flood waters carry these diseases to make people sick. Flood waters, floods are not always bad. Sometimes seasonal floods are necessary to bring new life to ecosystems. Right here, the writer's going to introduce us to the benefit. Some floods are helpful. Here's the second big idea, right? And now we're looking for the details that are going to explain that second big idea or main idea. The first detail that the writer wants to give us about how some floods are helpful. 
Floods carry important nutrients to the surrounding land. Detail number two, floods can refill pools of fresh water underground. Let's go up to detail number one and read what the writer means by that. So he gives us this proof, this detail. Floods carry important nutrients to the surrounding land and then they go on to explain their detail. When the flood waters dry up, they leave sediment behind. The sediment is a natural fertilizer. It improves the quality of the dirt and encourages plants to grow. Egypt's Nile River floods every year. The ancient Egyptians built their first cities along the Nile. The river's floods made the nearby soil perfect for growing food. So here the writer supported their main idea with the details and then explained the details for the reader. Final main idea that the writer wants to talk about Helping fish boosting water supplies. There's another benefit to floods. And as a reader, I'm shocked because I never thought about how floods can be a good thing. The first detail he explains, some animals use seasonal floods as a sign. That's interesting. I want to read to find out what he means by that. Detail number two, seasonal floods can be good for fish. Detail number three, floods can help refill fresh water supplies. Then the article has its conclusion. This is an important part of your pillar because we start with the introduction with a great big main idea and the writer tells you what he wants you to take away from his reading and then gives you the details. And then the conclusion is just him restating that main idea again. Floods are a force of nature. They can both help and harm the ecosystem they affect. Floods can be destructive to humans and the environment, but they are also necessary to keep some ecosystems alive. So the main idea again, floods can be helpful and they can be harmful. And the writer went on to describe what he meant by each one of those. Your assignment is to plan your own writing. And I've given you the topic and a partially filled pillar in Google um, Classroom. So complete the graphic organizer by adding the details to get started. And here's what it looks like for you. If you need any help, you just contact one of your teachers and we'll be happy to help you. Until next week, this is Talk It Out Tuesday.